Good morning, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor of Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Eurosatory at Parc de Exposition Paris. We are here at the India Pavilion, and I'm this morning with Nikhil Kanodia, director, Precision Electronics Limited. Hi, Nikhil. Welcome to ADU's chat room. Pleasure to see you again, Sangeeta. And how is it to be here? It's excellent. We, uh, this is our second time coming to Eurosatry and it's, our booth is double the size of what it was in the previous turnaround in 2022. So we are very thrilled to be here. And yesterday, Nikhil, you had the ambassador visiting you and I think, uh, you know, I feel he spent the maximum time with you <laughs> than with the others in the pavilion. What was it like? What were you discussing with him? You are very kind. Uh, I think he gave everybody a lot of justice. Um, he's an excellent man. He loves to understand, you know, what is the industry doing? What are we up against? What is the geopolitical scenario from our, from our eyes? So it was really a very nice conversation. I remember meeting him in 2022 and, you know, nothing has changed in terms of uh, his excitement, you know, when, when, when he's around private sector companies. And we, we will miss him, you know, I understand he's going to be going away from uh, uh, from France. So we will miss him in the next show. Uh, it was it was a, it was it was amazing to see him. And and, you know, we were talking about how tactical infrastructure, how do we see the market of tactical infrastructure globally and, you know, how it is in India, what geopolitical in events are happening, especially vis-a-vis -vis China with with NATO countries not wanting uh, any component, you know, essentially to come from China and how that's opening up the market for Indian companies. It's a challenge, but it's a good challenge to have. Wonderful. And now tell me, what are you showcasing here at Eurosatry this year? So, uh, Sangeeta, we have uh, essentially a portfolio of tactical infrastructure products, which includes uh, various technologies of tripods, various technologies of telescopic masts, we have pedestals in the form of rotators, pan tilt systems to suit starting from man portable uh, applications to very, very heavy duty, like being able to take 400 kg load. So, so this is what we're showcasing. We also have uh, on, on display our machining uh, capabilities, so precision machining capabilities, uh, which we do for um, companies that make electro-optics products, companies that make um, RF, microwave, server-based systems, power electronics. So we, we serve customers uh, in, in, in Israel, we serve customers uh, in India, you know, with, with, with these services as well. And uh, what sort of, a, sort of an industry would be your client? Largely, it would be homeland security uh, and defense land systems. These, these would be the main clients. For machining services, we also build for airborne. And uh, here we're seeing a lot of things on display. Yeah. So could you just tell us something about them? I'm just taking you around. Sure. Yeah, so uh, just move to your first product. So and, uh, that product that you see over there is yeah. a carbon fiber based pneumatic mast, which has a 360 degree panel of lighting. So imagine you're in a garrison uh, or a critical infrastructure which needs, you know, lighting uh, for up till 500 meter radius, right? So that's something that you would use for, for that purpose. Right. Uh, as you can see, it's very bright. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, as, as we pan around, this is a, it's a heavy duty uh, spindle mast and this can take a 400 kg payload on top. So for very heavy duty anti-drone systems or electronics intelligence, when we want to detect enemy radars, then you know those, the systems that do that, they're fairly heavy and they need line of sight. So this does that. This is a man portable, here's a man portable uh, product. So drone uh, companies use, use this. Uh, uh, it's, it's got a very small pantel system on top. So the data link uh, of, of, the, of the drone uh, gets gets fitted on, on this and it tracks where the drone flies coming on this side you see uh, a heavy duty tripod of ours it can take a weight up to 500 kilos it's got a pedestal with um, a rotator essentially and that's a mock-up of a radar right so that's uh, what you see there 
here you see a winch mast so in very very cold climates the pneumatic does not work and when you go worse than minus 20 and up to minus 40 degrees Celsius this is the solution this solution works works a whole lot better the winch the winch system and that's a manual rotator tilter on top uh, that you see over here is a, another kind of a tripod which is which can take about 100 kilo of load it's with an elevator so what it does is again for man portable requirements where you want a very small stored dimension uh, that's a, that's a very and that's that's a product that's uh, selling in very nice quantities uh, in Israel as well by the way um, these are some of the machined parts that we do come this side again you can so machine parts for for RF microwave for power electronics for electro optic sights these are small sights which go on rifle a reflex sight for a rifle so we do the mechanics for them yeah this is yeah, and uh, you know now that uh, one client uh, in the foreign lands, Israel, yeah. you are here at Europe. Yeah. Uh, how has the footfall been for you? This is day two. Yeah. And uh, who are the clients you're trying to, you know, track at the moment? And yeah. uh, so just let us know about your export plans. Sure. So, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, two weeks ago, uh, the French court ruled uh, that. Israeli companies could not participate in Eurosatry. It was very disappointing for us, of course, because they are big, uh, big customers for us. Uh, but uh, uh, it also presents an opportunity. It, 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 it gives us five days to, to go after the NATO countries directly. So we are very keen to go after the French customers, uh, German customers, Eastern European customers. So we're talking to Polish. We're talking to Cyprus, uh, um, we're talking to uh, Romania, uh, and UK, uh, Australia, so uh, the Americans of course. So it, you know, uh, sometimes uh, when something disappointing happens, it opens up opportunities elsewhere, right? So, so we, are, we are looking at it that way. Wonderful. And uh, Nikhil, I think today is day two. We still have three more days yep. to go. And I'm sure that by the time you end with the show and get head back home, you'll have lots more to tell us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Sangeeta. Pleasure.